Hey, this is Peachy. I'm Moose. This is Sudan. And we'd like to take a moment to thank our original launch site, Anchor.fm, who's helped to enrich this podcast in many ways. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Anchor.fm offers educational tools on how to get started in social media and has not only given our show, Staple Together, several platforms to choose from for your listening enjoyment, but continues to offer helpful tips and avenues for growth along the way. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. With an easy, hassle-free method for uploading, you can add your podcast episodes to Anchor.fm's extensive library, available for listening on several popular streaming services, letting listeners choose a favorite platform. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what we're doing right now by reading this ad. Go to anchor.fm slash start to get started today. Together podcast for the comic book release week of February 5th, 2020. I'm PG. I'm Moose. I'm Sudan. And this week in comic book and pop culture news. No news is like good news is like bad news is like news. I still, I, yeah, I still go first. Okay. We're gonna go a little bit out of order, but I'm gonna still go for first. Not that you guys know. Know what order we're like sitting in right now? But, um, uh, what do you got for us, Who's? It's, it's not big news, but uh, really good reviews and ratings for Birds of Prey, which awesome. makes me really excited because I've only seen one bad review saying that it's the worst comic book movie, and comic book movies are going downhill. And what is DC doing? I'm like, literally everyone else is Are loving you this movie. my brother's page again? I, <laughs> probably not. Just, he is just the ever-loving woman hater. So oh, he's yeah. gonna hate that. Yeah, but um, Jim Lee loved it. Jim Lee loves everything that DC's been putting out, so right. I don't know if that counts or not, but um, everyone that I've seen on the internet likes it. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 93. Oh, wow. For their critics review, nice. so that just makes me very excited to go watch it. It comes out tomorrow, which I don't think it, we're we're planning on going to see it premiere no, night. But no, <laughs> no. lack of funds. But I'd like to go yeah. see it. I yeah. would like to see it as well. Um, I, I on that I have heard that um, this kind of sets a template for DC movies going forward, That's which good. kind of intrigues me. I'm kind of curious how they set also, that up. Yeah, I am as well. I don't. With a platform like that, you want, with claiming that, that's kind of like, okay, what do you got for us? I yeah. also saw that Ian McGregor says that it's like a direct hit in on misogyny and stuff. Oh, really? And which I, I think is great, mostly because I love Ian McGregor. But <laughs> right. Even though he's the bad guy, it's fine. Yeah. Who does it? Right, he's, right. he's crazier than the Joker. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, crazier than the Joker <laughs> and deadlier than <laughs> Ray yeah. Al Ghul. If, if you saw our live video today, yeah, you'll see... Um, the dollar comic was out today from DC for the introduction of the character I- that Ian McGregor will be playing in the Birds of Prey movie. Yes. Um, next week we got Kane. Who? Oh. Cassandra Kane that comes in, um, who's a character in the movie. Yeah. And oh. then we also get the Birds of uh, Harley Quinn in the Birds of Prey number one comes out next week. I thought that oh, was really? Green Lanterns next week, but. I might both, be mistaken. Or both, I think. But I mm. didn't see that Harley Quinn. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool that it comes like the way right of it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, they've been building up with all these dollar comics and stuff. So I'm kind of like, oh, the not dollar Birds of Prey is out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next um, week. I will not be getting it. <laughs> very, very good stuff. What have you got for us, you know? What do you have for us? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll <laughs> tell you in a minute. <laughs> oh. So, um, let me get my, my, I'm, I'm a little behind here. I'm drawing a blank, so I gotta get, get my, uh, get my news pulled up. 
bear with me. Um, so with the, it looks like with the 26.5 million subscribers that have signed up for the Disney Plus streaming service since launch, um, we've gotten some more uh, specific, uh, you know, time, release times for some of the upcoming shows as well as for that hit show, The Mandalorian. If you haven't seen season one, it's spectacular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll be getting season two later this year in October, which is great. You know, um, some you know some series you wait a year and a half for another season and stuff, and it's just killer. So yeah. it's good to see that that's going to be coming up. Hopefully, you know, it's good stuff. It should all be. I mean, it's all written out um, as far as we know by by uh, Favreau and Favreau. stuff like that. So so shouldn't be taking any sharp turns uh, away from the original formula that we formula that we saw in season one. Which is good. Yeah, for sure. Um, as well as uh, The Mandalorian, we've got release windows for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, oh, by the way, Mandalorian will premiere with, uh, season two will premiere with eight episodes. Um <laughs> Falcon and the Winter He's Soldier. Just like throwing invisible things at me. When yeah. Like, like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Like, ha, ah, ah. <laughs> They're shurikens and throwing stars. Oh, God, they're new <laughs> shurikens. He's like, yeah, I this information. I'm like, ah, oh, dodge. <laughs> um, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier premieres in August with uh, six episodes as well. And uh, WandaVision with six episodes in December. Um... Let's see. The other, the other show. What about the other show? The, the, the other show. Oh, the Loki. Oh, Loki. Let's see, Loki. I did I need just to see. Know so I can prepare. I thought that was like early twenty twenty one. Uh, yeah, it is next year. Deb debuts on Disney next year in twenty twenty one. Which was interesting, like, because they did show at the Stupid Bowl, if you saw that, that, that yay sports event, they did show a little short on all of them. Cat. <laughs> they did show a short on all three of those, which was interesting. They showed us first footage of Falcon yeah. and Winter Soldier, which I'm like, heck yeah. Yeah, yep. big game spot. Uh, that's, I should throw, I sh I'm going to, oh, I don't have the ability. I'm like, I should throw that up on the Facebook that absolutely nobody Anymore. Yeah. It was a pretty cool spot. I mean, they did show us Loki, which is interesting. Yes. That was at the very end. Yeah, that was. I'm excited to see it just from that little bit because yeah. I'm like, I don't. That's a big mystery to I, me. It's all really cool uh, mock up of him in that same picture, but they kind of extended the smile and gave him green hair. Interesting. Yeah. He looked very Joker-esque. Right. <laughs> very, very Joker-esque. It was pretty cool. Well, actually, I'm like, oh, neat. But Everybody wants everybody else to be the Joker. Why? Let's make every actor the Joker. Why not? Yeah, that's going to be exciting. There's a lot of stuff coming out for that. That looks awesome. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, so, uh, I can't wait for all of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited, especially for the new shows. Um, and then, you know... The, the other stuff coming out next year can't be too far behind. So, WandaVision actually looked fun, too. It like, does. That one was like, okay. Classic costume. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it's an MCU production, so it's going to be funny, and it's going to have heart. And yeah. this, or at least these are the things that we're hoping for, you know, after the huge blockbuster movies that, that were packed full of those things. These these are for lore hounds. This this is for you know people who appreciate the lore. That's kind of what the Iger and a lot of them are saying. You know, oh. we want to make these shows so they can expand, like Star Wars, Mandalorian. We're getting the lore that we necessarily won't get in the movies, right? And so now Disney's poised to do that, mm. and with all of their franchise with this platform, I don't hate it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of already comic book comparisons with what little from WandaVision that we've seen comic book side-by-side -side comparisons with nice. the frames. I've only seen the one. Like, that's... You, which one? You've seen, like, a lot of different ones? Uh, two or three, yeah. Like, uh, 
vision in normal people clothes is like straight out of a comic. Oh, nice. Like the, the pattern on the shirt is almost exactly the same. Nice. So that's attention to detail that yeah. I'm sure everyone will appreciate. I don't yeah. know why I'm like so invested in that show. I don't I'm, like, know I'm pretty excited for it. I'm I not going to lie. Yeah. yeah, like it's going to be a sitcom. How do they pull this one off? These are not two of my favorite characters in, yeah. the, in the franchise and I'm like stoked. There was the possibility of Quicksilver. What? 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 Like, okay, let's start talking. Okay, I mean, she does be, she is able to, you know, yeah, she's Change got reality. the magics. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm curious about it. But, um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, good stuff. Mm-hmm. What have you got for a suit on? You said you had some on the pigtails. Of the, on the pigtail, on the um, hand. Um, with the Mandalorian coming a lot more information. Um, some news coming out. Like, Dave Filoni is, you know, full involved in this one. Dave Filoni and Favreau with it. Favreau and Dave Filoni have kind of been looked at as been main, kind of poised to take control of this yeah, whole franchise. Yeah, they've been kind of tapped to... Yeah, take and charge. rightfully so. I mean, anything they've touched has pretty much turned to gold. Even not only have they offer Taika Waititi his own Star Wars film now. That's um, perfect. Um, which is I love it. <laughs> one news um, that they, apparently it was reported that he's like... Not said yes that we know of yet, but... He's gonna He's say gonna yes. Say yes. <laughs> I bet you. I mean, if it were me, I'd be scared, and I'd so really want to do it. But just, I'm sure, and I'm pretty sure I saw an interview with JJ that he felt like the same way, intimidated to take the helm of a. Star it's Wars. a Star Wars movie, you know. So why wouldn't you with this fandom? You yeah, know, the fandom yeah. is is. Uh, He's great, though, man. I mean, fractured as it is, and yeah. I, I'm looking forward to that, but the news, the uh, big one is the John, or, yeah, John Filoni. Wow, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm merging these two. Dave Favreau over there. Reported the, uh, yeah, Dave Favreau over there. I was just said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dave Filoni here is um, looking to bring in what was we had report I think earlier. Maybe I didn't say it, but. Um, established character from right. Star Wars lore that were no. Uh, one reported this week is casting for Luke Skywalker. Six years post-Jedi. Um, Six years post-Jedi? This is post-Return of the Jedi. Stan. That's the, That was... You yeah. kind of <laughs> the star. I was like, who do Dumb. you guys think? And I think we're all in kind of like, just by that, in agreement like after there. After Obi-Wan's dead. Okay. Oh yeah, post Jedi. Dirk. Man, I'm thinking Obi Wan series. I am so screwed up. <laughs> yeah, it's episode three. The yeah. Right? yeah. Wow. There's so many new Star Wars, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that is super exciting, though. But yeah, that's right. Luke yeah, Skywalker. Stan all day. Robot hand. Um, setting up the new. Um, He's already Jedi got the order. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Please continue. He's setting up the new order. Comes in contact. Why? Why wouldn't he? With this force sensitive kid. Right. That the Mandalorian has to deal with, but I'm curious. I I, I honestly, well, they, I, I've heard a lot of people say Sebastian, Sebastian Stan. Oh man, who the soldier over there? Yeah, they have very similar face fe- facial features. So yeah, they, you see, yeah, yeah if you, if you've looked online or freaking Google it, man, they, there's side by side comparisons of these it's guys. Just one hundred percent, like scene to scene, like where it looks just like I'm like, yeah, damn it, that's hard to deny, you yeah. know. Um. Yeah. But any, I, like Sebastian Stan, of course. Now, what, anybody else? I can't think okay. of anything no. else. Being, That's it. Um, I'm gonna. I'm fine. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Um, no, I'm not because I can't forget this. I can't. Remember, <laughs> I can't forget his name. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Barry Allen over there. Ezra Miller. No, the other oh, one. The, no, the other one. Grant Gustin. Grant, Grant Gustin. Absolutely not. I don't. Face, I don't see that at too all. Long. I don't. I just needed to throw out a name just yeah. so I have something else to kind of a palate cleanser there. Yeah, because no, everybody's like, "Nope, Sebastian Stan." No, that is, that, would, that's that who it would is. be great. That would be great. And I'm. Everybody knows about that. Everybody knows about that. He's the thing that sucks though about these guys is that rarely do they cast people that are anticipated for a role. Yeah. Um. Solo. Yeah, Solo was a great example for me. There were Ready Player One. Yeah, Ready Player One. Um, for me, what, 
Uh, the the new Spider Man and actually I'd I'd heard about Tom Holland and I'm like I was rooting for the for him I'm like for the kid whatever but he is a child yeah I was rooting for him I'd seen you know doing back springs and you know doing all kinds of crazy stuff in in his backyard and talking to uh talking about talking to uh, what's his name Punisher over there uh, Shane from Walking Dead can't remember oh. his name. Um, yeah, that dude. Yeah, you know, and both of them wanting to get Marvel roles and whatever, and supporting each other, and and I'm I'm like that's really cool. And then they both landed, you know, really awesome role. Yeah. Two of my favorites, you know, in in the Marvel. It's unfortunate universe. we're not going to see one of them ever again. Yeah, it is. Super the other one we thought so like earlier last year, like we may not see ever. Again, yeah. But yeah. Oh, I held faith. Held on. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a Bloodshot. Another bad cast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. David Batman. Brain. Uh, Batman's just a whole different... Batman. Yeah. Super Superman. George Clooney. Superman. <laughs> but yeah, that's... I, I just... I, the future's bright. I, I, I've also heard the, the possibilities of Han Solo. I mean, bounty hunters, yeah. shady dealings of Han Solo. They can bring the guy who brought in... Who was in Solo. Right. Uh, we could even bring in the girl who... Um, Dragon Witch... Kira? Chick, Kira from that one. From Solo. Solo. I yeah. forgot her character name, but she. I don't know her real name. There was a lot Daenerys. of Daenerys or <laughs> Daenerys. Yeah, that, yeah um, for the Game name. of Throners out there, uh, yeah. Game of Throners. There's a lot, a lot of those kind of people. Like these, there's stories that are in the lore that where are these. You know, they set it up in Solo. They set it up in Rebels. They set it up in a lot of this. Where are they going to pay off? So. I cannot wait to see more Darth Maul. I'm not gonna lie. True. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I'm excited about. Oh, one, about two weeks, three weeks actually. I, I don't know. Clone two Wars. weeks. Clone Wars is coming this because we also do have Clone Wars. That was another yeah. show which we got a cl- uh, trailer a couple weeks ago. Which but yeah, we can't talk about. I am because someone's behind. I am super <laughs> ecstatic about I, it. I really would have liked to watch it again. You can still do it. They're not yeah. that. Dumb. You've got time. Yeah. yeah. I'd say do it. I don't feel like I do, do have time. Do I, it. I, I, do I will it. say this. I, this is completely going with it, but I've actually noticed that the CGI is improving as it goes through the season. The people and the care, like the physical people, I'm like, I can't stand it. I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna play my game. It's just noise. But the the space and the battle sequences and stuff that happens, like they're actually like super high def, like like the ships, battle oh, yeah. ships, and stuff. Yeah, that looks that's really some of my favorite. Good. Favorite. That's one of the main reasons I started watching. I'm like, oh man, these fucking space effing space battles. They know? went really in depth, but then like the characters, they got better and better. And I'm looking at it, that's the only thing I'm gonna say about the new trailer. The CGI looks leaps and bounds like. Oh, gorgeous! Like the characters don't look cringy; they actually look good. Um, but that's all I got. That's all I got. Nice Star Wars. No, Star super Wars. good stuff, man. I'm super, super dived into Star Wars. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Uh, well, yeah, that uh, closes our news segment for today. You said there was a theme yeah. song. We had a theme song. You, you guys, new song. Forget? It's yeah. a new song. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Were we yeah. debuting that? I'm curious about this song. We should have listened to the episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on into our comic re- comic book review segment of our podcast. We'll go ahead and start off with... Sudas. Oh. What did you have today? I'll go first if you want me <laughs> no, to. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, I only read two books again this week. because Same these. Because, again, Justice League came out, and I'm, like, eight books behind, and Buffy came out, and I'm, like, ten books behind, and Same. Hellmouth is next week. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't even get Justice League. Like, I know. It wasn't even in my slot, yeah. so I, could, I wouldn't have been fair. Yep. Yep. So, that that was a deciding factor on not reading Justice League, for sure. Right. Um, we'll have to stop by another comic book store at some point. Yeah, for get sure. Get on a cup, copy. Saturday. Coffee, I hope that. Or, or coffee. We could hit it up Saturday, maybe, early in the day. Yeah, maybe. Oh, we, we can. Have, I have it off. Yeah? 
I have the next two Saturdays off. Yeah. Yeah, because nice. we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Nice. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's pronounced dund, actually. Dund. Dund. Yeah. Um, it's but... the sound from Law and Order. <laughs> what know. do you got for us? <laughs> it's the Law and Order sound. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, I forgot that this is happening. More news. Scotty Young has a new uh, book coming out. It's oh. called Strange Academy. It's him oh. and Humberto Ramos. It's nice. coming out um, March 2020. So he's writing that. Yes. I had a preview in one of my books for it. I, this? Yeah. It? Yeah, Doctor Strange is it's like Hogwarts. It's yeah, not Doctor Strange. I was trying Strange. to figure out why there was an M&M on my page. A blue M&M with hair, but it's apparently a character. I'm really... Ex- Ugh, don't get me started on that. Do- Dr. Anyways. Voodoo. Um, so my first book, my first book that I had was The End of Captain America, um, Story and Art by Eric Larson, uh, Dono Sanchez Omara did the color, and V.C. Joe's Carmen, Carm, Karma Manga? Colin Maybe? Jost? Yeah, Colin Jost did the letters. He's doing everything! <laughs> yeah, it's Casey Joe's brother. I want to check Jost. that art out. I was not a fan. Oh, really? Art. Yeah, I was not a fan of the story. It was very America-y. I and, haven't um, looked at any Eric Larson work in some time. So So that was a book that happened. Uh-huh. So it just was just not good. I mean, like, the ending was good, I guess. It was, it was Captain America. But I was like, eh, the entire time. <laughs> Captain America's old. I'm like, I don't really care. Right. Eh. Taking that. Yeah. Captain America. I mean, the ending was... It was very Captain America ending. Oh. It just feel, felt right. Red Skull was a big part of it. Huh. Um, Modoc was in it. Yeah. So my second book was Lois Lane number eight. Nice. Continued writing... Oops. By... Someone. Continued writing by Greg Ruka. Um, art... By Mike Perkins. I this is the variant cover. I got the Kimon Shirama cover. That's a cool cover. It, I really like this cover. Did you, you saw this one, right? Oh yeah, it's yeah. yeah I was commenting on uh, the anime type of style uh, yes. on, on the face. She has purple eyes. It's really cool. It's weird, but I don't hate it. Right. It, it kind of is like, I, I see it as kind of a statement that Metropolis, you know. Yes. Like a big Metropolis, like more than just, like most, I don't know, some people may see Superman and I see Metropolis. Well, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be like Superman and Metropolis and Lois Lane and they're all connected. And... Like, that's a, that's the first things I think of, Lois Lane, Superman, Metropolis. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed this book. I've been really enjoying this series. I'm really sad that it's going to be over in four issues, because it's really good, huh. um, but it's continued from her trying to figure out this, you know, conspiracy stuff, reporter stuff, and also dealing with her personal life after, spoilers, um, Superman reveals his identity as Clark Kent. I was curious, like, it does have the fallout of that in this. Just a little bit. She's more like, look, I don't need your help right now, so don't to Superman because he'll, like, come in and try and save the day because that's what he does, especially when it has to do with Lois. And she's like, I don't need your help and I don't need you constantly being here to help me um, because then everyone's going to think that you're always going to be here to save the day, which you won't be because there's other things you have to do and I can take care of myself basically, which is is the lowest lane. Mm, And um, the question's there, um, and uh, they get loaned up in a hotel at one point. And uh, that was at the end of the last issue, that an explosion went off in their hotel, and uh, someone's trying to kill Lois right now. And she's like, I'm going to figure out who it is, and I told Superman not to help us, so we got to do this ourselves. And she's all investigative journalist. 
Yeah. That sounds awesome. It is. Um, it's so good. That's too bad. It's limited series. It I didn't know what to, it goes to 10 or 12. what? 12. Yeah. Mm. Same with Jimmy Olsen. I was uh, disappointed to find out that I was wait, holding out to get number four of Fallen Angels. Yes. So that I could read it, and it just ended last week. I'm like, oh, well, well I was hoping to possibly review it right? or talk about it, but... I was really curious to see how it was going to tie in with the Superman events, which I'm still behind on, but I obviously know what Yeah, it, it also tied um, almost directly into Leviathan, oh. event Leviathan, which you are also behind on. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to mention anything else besides that because a um, major character dies. Oh. Yeah, next week is a lot of catch-up because there's a, um, a fear or something about Mr. Pettyworth over there. Mm. <laughs> yep. I yeah, I'm, I, I was curious on that one because I knew it was going to tie in because the reveal does yep. tie into Leviathan and, and stuff. Now I kind of regret getting this, but I'm also curious how we're, you know, that Jimmy Olsen ties into everything. <laughs> I have no idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> Superman's a wild ride. Yeah. You mean Superman's girlfriend, Jimmy Olsen? <laughs> yeah, Superman's girlfriend, Jimmy Olsen, and Superman's best friend, Lois Lane? Yeah, yeah. Superman's pal, Lois Lane. I'm sorry. I'm Voice. Sorry. It's all gotten Voice. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> what do you got for us this week, Sue? I read books, and they were of the comic kind. Oh. Same as um, I don't read comics. Of the plethora of books that I had to get this week... I read four of them. Actually, I read two of the books I picked up this week. Oh, really? Two of the books I picked up this week. Um, I had to pick. I had to read a couple older books huh. um, that were. We all read two books from this week. Yeah, that's nice. two, two, and two. Yeah, two. that's funny. Two twenty-two. Um, first books that I had to read, uh, and this week was really rough. And I'm curious if you're going to pick which um, one. <laughs> is the one that I went with. The Um, Power Rangers versus the Llama Kings? Yes. So first I had to read Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, number one. I had to read number one, number two, for this week's number three, which was really cool. Um, I didn't write any of their artists. Uh, Prepare, prepare. Let me go ahead and pull that. You have uh, seals either. It's off. Oh, it might, I, might I feel like it should be synced. Yeah, it should be synced. So, so you don't have to open your books. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's uh, Continued Writing by Ryan Perot, who's big on the uh, TM, Mighty Morphin. Or Mighty Morphin. Um, right. Colors by Walter Biamonte, um, with assistance by Igor Monti. Igor. Uh, Is it Igor or Monti? Uh, it goes either way. I heard it one voice. Uh, illustrated by Simone Di Mio. Di Mio. Uh, I got all the covers. So nice. Each one's like a That's different a variant one. of the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Um, I had to read one, two, uh, which actually kind of the ending of two got spoiled to me. I'm not yeah. very happy about that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's never much fun. No. <laughs> um, but... There was still stuff that hadn't been revealed, which was super cool. Um, yeah. Turtles, Rangers, same universe. Yeah, that's so, awesome. So they're, they're referring to like stuff that's happening in the actual comics for Ninja Turtles, which that's I'm cool. behind. And I'm like, oh, oh. It's cool to see some of the Rangers gelling. You know, of course, you know, yeah. the Ranger, Ta- Billy, and Donatello are going to be like, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk nerd stuff. <laughs> yeah, I have a robot. You have a robot? <laughs> you know, Donatello's a total geek about it. Um, That's awesome. The Black Ranger, and, uh, Zach, and um, Michelangelo, you know, talking about pizza. You know, yeah. You know, the, the conversation. I, I, I said it to Peachy. Was, yeah. Because uh, Ooze does not like pizza at all. I don't. Uh, but... He goes, pineapple on pizza? Gross. You know, Definitely. Michelangelo declares that. You know? Oh, no, I yeah, thought that see, was Raphael. Legit. No, Michelangelo declared that. <laughs> oh, I, th- I, th- I thought he was wearing red. It looked red to me, but everything looks off color-wise because I have a hard time. Um, the way they have the, the art in this story is super cool. Like I love how the turtles look. The rangers look super cool. Huh. And it's, it's kind of almost predictive on where it's going, but... 
Um, it kind of feels similar to the story of how they did the Justice League crossover, which mm. was f- f- phenomenal, you know, but different universe. So I was like, oh, that's cool that they put them together. But, um, and then my next book this week uh, was Darth Vader. Number one, did you have that one as well? I had that book, but I did not read it. Okay. Um, I just didn't feel right without reading, having read the last series at all. I need to do some catch up. I, um. I what happens. <laughs> so this week's scores along the board was 9 out of 10 for all of them. Nice. For every last book that I read this week, even the old With books. With the Guru. With, there's no DC. So. Uh, the Power Rangers crosses over into the DC universe, so therefore it could happen. Does it, not in this current crossover, okay? okay. <laughs> All I know is that Red, Shredder, All Green Ranger, now versus Rita was badass. Okay. Right. That sounds badass. That's what I picture. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's like, how? <laughs> but that's, that's another story. <coughs> so it definitely was a difficult decision for my week, um, this week, but um, which one do you think it is? Um, it was Darth Vader, because you talked about it last. No, I was just going to wait and see if you decided first, but it was really Power Rangers Noah. Yeah, okay, it was Darth yeah. Vader. <laughs> um, Darth Vader, writing by Greg Pak, uh, art by Rafi. Mm-hmm. Raffaele and Nico, God, colors by Niraj, Niraj, Raj. I really love the diversity yeah. of all of the artists and authors in our comic books. I'm very sorry we are unable to pronounce anything. Yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm really not trying to I butcher know. these. I, I know. And in a young Lee, in young Lee, yeah, nice. Oh, <laughs> I got He's that one right. Artist. Oh, uh, this takes place concurrent with the new Star Wars um, volume, the new one that's coming out. The new, if you've been reading that one, it's all you need to know. Oh yeah, really. a, yeah, between episodes five and six. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like, if you feel like you need to read those ones, don't just pick this up, just read it. A um, lot of really cool stuff from. So we're getting the Star Wars is from the Luke perspective. And the other characters, and this one's just straight up, at some point, point of view of Vader. Nice. Um, Didn't we get that with that first series also, when they restarted the Marvel Star Wars? They did, and this one takes place, like, from the Hoth. Like, I just revealed to him that I am his father. Right, okay. Now I'm going to hunt down all the people who have hid this from me. That's awesome. Goes back to Tatooine goes back to a lot of different locations and just there's some moments you're just like and there's that end scene which is going to be spoiled by the cover of next month's issue like who are you what how major reveal yeah like what would cripple anakin slash darth vader the most padme I had seen that. Okay, yeah, oh, okay. Padme, okay, okay. Padme reveal like what? And so it's it, it, there's some stuff that's happening there. I'm like, okay, oh. this is freaking. The, the art was really phenomenal. Really? It was cool. The Death Troopers were and just like their text was unreadable, nice. and everybody's like, what? What did they say? <laughs> but they're dominating. You know, they, they, yeah. it, it was cool to see. It was cool to see a lot of this stuff. And I, I'm looking. I'm like, oh man. I can't That's wait for awesome. the next issue. I'm like, really, for it to be Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles out. Yeah. And honestly, it had to it, be Darth Vader. I yeah. mean, and I, I, this like I actually was watching Vader. I'm like, God, it's the rage, like from his perspective, the anger. You're like, oh, this has got to be heartbreaking and heart. Like, just imagine, he's everything's lied to him for his whole life. Now yeah. He's starting to realize that he may have been wrong in what he did, but. Oh, there's just I'm, I'm really curious how they're going to play on this. Inner so. turmoil, man. And then see his <laughs> slight turn to the light. Yeah. And this is nice. this is where it began. It's his reveal to his son. You know, huh. I think that's where it began. I don't think yeah. Luke helped. I think the oh, I think Luke's you know the fact Existence. that he realized yeah. Luke being around was like, right. I have a child. Like, how yeah. did they hide this from me? 
So I'm, uh, it's it's cool to see how they're doing this. Nice. Um, but that definitely nine out of ten for that. Nice. nice. That's awesome, man. But, I, I, I will admit, I am pretty, like, super immersed in Star Wars like, oh, yeah. right now. Like, Clone Wars rewatching, listening to as much lore as I possibly can ever else, elsewhere. And, That's awesome, man. That's awesome. <laughs> man. It's, it's awesome, man. It's awesome, man. Awesome, man. I told you I'm running a quirk species. Right? Yeah. Okay. Is it, they're all from New Zealand? Or? No, they're from Galaxy. Hmm. All right. Well, this week I also read two books, um, and I it was just actually the two books. Um, they were Daredevil number seventeen, written by Chip Zdarsky, featuring art by George Fornes, colors by Nolan Woodward. No Woodward, sorry. <laughs> and <It's> Woodward. No, <laughs> Cover by Julian Totino Tedesco. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, great artist. I haven't heard, I haven't heard that name in so long. Yeah, yeah. You haven't yeah. talked about Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's still doing those covers, and they're looking great. I saw, you know, the preview at the end of this one for next week's looks fantastic. Um, but I also read Marauders number 7, uh, written by Gary Duggan, featuring art by Stefano Caselli and... The cover on that one was done by Russell Dodderman. Uh, Dodderman? Yeah. Both good. Both goods were really book. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and both. compute, we understand. Um. <laughs> I uh. I I ingested a lot of comics last time I read uh, Marauders, and I can't exactly remember what happened at the end of the last book. Therefore, so I was a little bit lost in in this issue mm-hmm. of Marauders. Um, and then something somewhat devastating happened. And I'm like, oh! So I'm going to have to go back and reread Marauders. Yeah. But it was a really good book. Therefore, though, because I wasn't lost and I know what's going on, I, I can always pick right back up with Daredevil. That is my Boys pick for... Do. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that term. I think it was great. That's right. <laughs> Chips and Earth. Chips and Earth. <laughs> Daredevil number 17 is my pick for the week. Um, it's it's really cool. It's, it's, it's uh, Matt Murdock dealing with, you know, I, he's got a new focus on life. He's not going to be the Daredevil anymore. Right. But he still wants to help people. And he still, he thinks, you know, I'm going to do God's work kind of thing and whatever and he's he's not going to kill and well, because he accidentally killed somebody right. and you know and the him in in the last issue him and Electra pulled off a big heist and got billions of dollars and that was actually distributed all throughout Hell's Kitchen because nice. they've been having tough times yeah. no police support and all that kind of stuff but it's a really good it was a really good book um the, the best part of, like, the money windfall, or, or the best part of the book, in my opinion, was, uh, I, and I can't remember the name of the family, but this old lady in charge that was kind of under uh, uh, Hammerhead's thumb, you know, uh, recently, because Hammerhead's trying to become the kingpin, because... Fisk is trying to go straight as mayor and blah blah blah. Right. Or at and least... not succeeding. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, um, there was that whole side story, which was great. But uh, oh, I forgot where it was at. The family. The family. Oh yeah, this this the old lady. They killed most of her guards and you know intimidated her and basically forced her to yeah we're gonna work together and I'm gonna be the new kingpin basically. Oh, the, the owl wants to be the new kingpin and killed all our men. And Hammerhead's just kind of working with him, I think, or whatever is what it was. And, yeah, he, but she was still under his thumb, whatever. And she's like, you know what, I've got a little bit of money that came in. I own a few extra small businesses and blah, 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 and everybody got a windfall. And so I've got some spending money. And, you know what, I don't need to be under your thumb and your kind of thing. And, like, pulls out 45 and... And blows Hammerhead's head off. Nice. You know? oh, wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm like, oh, dang. And that's mainly why Daredevil was my my pick for the week. There was another thing that happened in the other book, but it wasn't nearly as, like, I'm a fan of old ladies sticking up for themselves. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, but I'm still, I don't know that he's dead. Right. You know, he's hammered It's probably it. the penguin situation. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and he's hammered it. He's got the thick skull, so, you know. Well, isn't that, didn't they say something like during the whole hunted event? Like, Owl was caught as one of the guys that was caught inside the whole hunted event. Yeah. I think he mentioned something about the whole kingpin becoming yeah. the new kingpin and stuff like yeah. that. I was like, oh, okay. Dude yeah. dudes. Yeah, I, I, th I, think, I think it's actually something where they're working together and they're going to like maybe split the city or something or either that or Hammerhead was working under Owlsley or the Owl, whatever. But, man, Daredevil does not disappoint in my opinion. I, I'm, I'm enjoying that book immensely. Zatarski's done a great job in my opinion. Um, you know, and I look forward to more. Yes. Um, I wonder who he got that idea from, because after hearing how he gets his ideas... Right? <laughs> He's like, hey, Scotty Lobdell, um, let me just... Uh... <laughs> right? <laughs> let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> I, I think he's so funny. Like, it's yeah. kind of cool that he's so funny, but he can still pull this, like, serious characters. Oh, yeah. And Dark, play gritty, the darker. like, yeah. It's, it's like, it's awesome. you know, comedians are able to play drama. Yeah. Well. yeah. Speaking of comedians playing drama, Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? In a new movie. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to talk about that right now because you haven't seen the trailer. I haven't. Um, I wasn't invited. But I guess, I guess that closes out our review segment yeah. for, the, for the day, for the show. Man. Hi there. Ooh, the week. <laughs> the podcast. The, the week. The podcast. Uh, yeah. So that's the end of our, our show today. Yeah. Um, Star Wars. What? Nothing. Star Wars something. <laughs> well, I want to show you guys this really quick because it was in Lois Lane. Um, and this was a big fight scene between the, the question and uh, the person that blew up their hotel room. <laughs> That's awesome. Is it spoilers? It? Yeah, it's not spoilers at all. Okay, good. It's just a really cool fight scene. Yeah. I like when they do different stuff with panels. I've talked about this multiple times on the podcast, but I like when they play with panels. That Alita has got some pretty cool fight scenes in it. Oh, um, me and um, Bambi watched that the other night. Yeah. Last night? The other night. And apparently Halle well, Berry was night. really good in John Wick 3. <laughs> she was great in John Wick 3. Parabolum. Babylon? Parabellum. Oh. But yeah, the the art inside of Lois Lane. You were talking about the art in one of your books, and I was like, oh yeah, that one scene. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of the... Uh, that, was it this morning? Or, no, was it last night? It was last night. It was at some point, Ooze goes, Sudan, why don't you like uh, Halle Berry as Storm? I responded with, I don't like Halle Berry as Storm. <laughs> That was last night. That was last night, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh. Because X2 was on. That yeah. was hilarious. So. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Don't forget to pick up these book books. Yeah, people <laughs> hold them in your hand, smell them, sniff them, touch them. Like them. Smell Rub. them and sniff them? <laughs> <laughs> sniff them, smell them, them breathe them in. Waft, waft them into your nostrils. Waft them. <laughs> Just chop them up. No. Mince no, them up. No. <laughs> Straw them into your nose. Yep. Because yep. it goes right to the brain. That's how you absorb them. Yep. This is, this is a PSA of what? Not Osmosis Jones. Osmosis Jones. Chris Rock. <laughs> 360. Um, if you don't know. Yeah, if you don't know where your local comic book store is, <laughs> use Comic Book Store Locator. This isn't a paid sponsor, but it's a good resource if you don't know where your local comic book store is. Thankfully, we do, but. Yeah. yeah, they'll also give you your uh, comic book release uh, list. Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Still haven't looked at it, but... <laughs> In theory. In theory, <laughs> they do. Yeah. Um, and Follow us should... all of the socials. Yeah, all of the socials, all of the social medias. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube Anchor, iHeartRadio, Chatbox. Castbox, Spotify, not Chatbox, Spotify, I still do that. Uh, <laughs> not Pandora. I even do that on the um, 
it's on the YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, you can check you know, out our channel at Chatbox. Chatbox. Yeah. Okay. Check out Sudan's segment on his YouTube channel, Sudan's s- s- segment. <laughs> Stapled, Stapled Together, together presents. Podcast presents. <laughs> Stapled Together Podcast presents. <laughs> Sudan's segment, where I open up and take care of Pokemon. Yep. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you send a quill. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it sounds. It's fun um, to watch. <laughs> Oh, an update on news from last week. The news yes. that I had from last week, oh? which was my Chemical Romance ticket. Right. I got a single ticket. Nice. So I'm going to go see my Chemical Romance alone, oh. I guess. Yeah. Go anxiety in a good yeah. show. <laughs> so be nice if you're at that concert. Please. Don't I'm be nice to child. everyone in case it is ooze. Yeah. I'm not going to say who it is. If you happen to recognize my voice. In a concert of loud songs. <laughs> yeah. For Please real. Be nice to me. Be really nice to bad, bad, yeah, just be nice to everyone. For real. Most people have real bad anxiety, including myself. So right? Just be nice. <laughs> so, Sudan, do you have a quote for us? First, we gotta say what we got next week. Yeah. Right? Oh! I didn't look that up. <laughs> what do you got? No, I, I did look that I'm up. I'm like, what? Right? <laughs> well, I was like, what? <laughs> Um, what do you got for us? The Are comics you... that I have for next week sorry, sorry. are Home Elf number five, <gasps> Alien vs. Predator, Thicker Than Blood, I should probably read the first two, and Flash number 88, I should probably read the first, first 87. 87. <laughs> no, I, that's not that many. I'm like six behind on the storyline right now. There was now, five so. in there that you read, I think. Yeah, I read all of year one, and I, st- I read a couple after that. So I'm I'm like I'm only like two or three behind, honestly. It's a it's a biweekly, so I don't even know. But those are the books that I have for next week, including whatever dollar comics there's out. But I'm not gonna read those. So. Right. I, I haven't been either. I want. Well, I think... well, it also doesn't help that CLZ won't put let them let us put them in the, our collection. That the, yeah, I, I think it does that for the true believers also. It's really annoying. Yeah. Or Marvel doesn't let us digitize our comics, otherwise I would have read yeah, Right. Fantastic. I read my freaking hard copy. Daredevil, the, yeah. Daredevil, yeah. Um, what, what do you got next week, Shoot on? Next week is a heavy week as all week, Star. Right. But um, chances are I'm probably going to read a couple. But I, too, have uh, Hellmouth number five. Yep. Um, there's... I, I hopefully we'll be caught up. Maybe. I think Hellmouth number five is the end of the Hellmouth crossover so event. So many books. Uh, the, there's just so many books. Yeah. Uh, Green Lantern, Rebirth, Batman. Mm-hmm. They're both the dollar comics mm-hmm. next week. Uh, nice. Uh, Basic Spider-Man, I'm sure I share with... Uh, yep. I almost said who's over there. Yep. Uh, going to be picking up that Gwen Stacy. Number 39. Number one. They have a couple covers. I'm kind of like a crud. I need to get that. But, let's see what else. We got Nebula. We got some Scotty Young covers. Nebula. Oh my god, I can't see any of that. Other books. <laughs> There's a Star Wars book. There's. Uh, I'm going to try to get caught up on Superman. I really want There's to try. There's probably to get... a Batman book out next to. Oh, yeah, the Pennyworth. Pennyworth, books. rest in peace, number one. Yeah. Um, there is Go Go Power Rangers. I'd like to give an update on that. God, I need to retake that. And then I'd like to catch up on X Men. But that's all I got. A lot of books. Um, nice. Yeah, there's. I've got a bit of a hole next week. I'm trying to get my filler books for Excalibur. Um, so number seven is out next week. Uh, so that's a new one. Cool. Amazing Spider Man. He's officially getting all of the X titles. Right. Now that, um, what was it? I already forgot. Fallen Angels. Fallen Angels and is it. over, so you yeah. can start getting Excalibur. Yeah, and then Wolverine, I'll probably get Cable. Hellions. Yeah, yeah. Hellions, I'll probably get. X Factors, finally, they, they, that's funny. They like, said last week. Update X Factor, on more yeah. News. Yeah. <laughs> X Factors is announced is coming. Yeah. April. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man number 39 is out next week. There's a Wolverine number one facsimile. That's the Claremont and Allen. That's the uh, whole the 
claws where he's doing this. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. that might be one to pick up, even though I hate that cover. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy looking, but it is a very famous cover, and, and I, I'll be picking it up. Do you, is it on your wall? I, no, I don't have it. I've got that that other one where you see Hulk and Wolverine's claws. But... um. X Force number seven is out next week. X Men number six, like uh, Sudar mentioned, Marvel's X number two is out, and Marvel Tales Wolverine number one. That's an eight dollar book. I'm not sure if I'm going to be picking up all nine of the books that I was looking at, but there's seven of them. Yeah, there's a lot of books, and it's funny. It's just like it feels like they're, ran, they're gearing up into a new, like something's coming. A new generation of mutants. Yeah, I mean. The, yeah, I don't know how, but I some somehow, you know, before Spider-Man uh, started, I started collecting several Spider-Man, t- or not Spider-Man, but the whole into into the Spider Verse and all that and whatever. Spider-Man blew up. That all happened. Whatever. Um, I was cool with that. I'm like, that's awesome. I'm glad I got all these titles. Now I'm getting all these X-Men titles that they're releasing that I had planned to get at least. At the very least, two of without knowing shit about anything, and now You're the X titles. Immersed. Yeah, I'm fully immersed, and the X titles are blowing up. There, there's all kinds coming, and it's still to come, whatever. And it's like, woo, what the heck? They're following my trends. Yes. My trends. Yeah. Well, at least you're not collecting any of those Thor things. Those yeah. Series. Yeah. Don't don't like start with the Thors. Uh, all of my books end, so there's that. Yeah, like, what the hell? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. X, uh, Loki, uh, Superior Spider-Man. So, you know, Marvel just hates me. It's it's fine, I get it. I hate right. me too, but <laughs> <laughs> then you don't have to check it out on my comics. Right. See, I probably, if they weren't releasing so many Spider-Man books and variants yeah. and other side stories, I probably wouldn't have as high of a haul as, as, as Marvel either anymore. Right. Because I do collect the main X-Men title, and I guess I'm now collecting the X-Men Fantastic Four. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But, but um, we'll see what happens. I just yeah. picked up the one to kind of be curious about it. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Um, giving them a chance. I mean, they've made several appearances in the Spider-Man books over the years, and I still can't stand them. I just, I, I don't know why. It just, it just not appeal. Yeah, Bambi and I were at Walmart the other day, and she, she was like, "Oh, does she, does Peachy need these figures?" Uh, and she pointed at uh, Mister Fantastic and Human Torch, and I'm like, "Absolutely not. He does not need any Fantastic Four figures." I haven't seen the last two Fantastic Four movies. I, neither have I. No. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Wait, which one was the one before last? Because oh, the last one was the remake, right? There's only been t- three. Okay, so I. I think I saw Silver Surfer. Oh, no, yeah, I did see Silver because Surfer. Because it has right. my boy in it. So right. Been Doug four, Jones. Because there's the 80s one, which I've seen. I have not seen it. I've seen that. that. Yeah, it was really bad. It's terrible. It's Although, the, 80s. the best version of Thing we've seen yet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was creepy looking. I got pictures upstairs. <laughs> that was ominous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I don't know why. I just can't. I can't get with Marvel's first family. I'm, Reed gets all my nerves. <laughs> camp. Uh, Emperor. I like Emperor's camp. I don't like the other camp. Chris Evans was the Human Torch. That he now was. He's Captain America. That's all I have. <laughs> and I guess that's all we have. <laughs> Or we can, you know, continue to just talk about <laughs> ourselves. Right now we don't like it. Just fade out, you know. Just... Well, you have a quote. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? A quote of us. Do you have a quote of us? Fantastic <laughs> first song. It's us. Stapled together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all of us. <laughs> no, I have a quote. Okay. All right. Belief is not a matter of choice, but of conviction. Oh, I like it. Nice. Awesome. On the beginning of the Star Wars episode. 
Oh, yeah, we should have been using all of those, <laughs> by should. the way. Right? <laughs> like, this entire time. We're so oh, I've got a, available. I've got a really good one. <laughs> the truth is out there. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. Take not it easy. Uh, we'll be back with you for next week's episode of February 12th, comic book release week of February 12th. Until then, take it sleazy. In memory of Ted Danson. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll have you listening with us then. See you next time. Have you listening then. Bye. Bye. So we're totally going to go see the new Fantastic Four, right? When it comes out. If it's part of the MC...